I can only, it, it becomes alive for me when, I, my, when my eye sees color as light. So I stay with it until it's become light. And so... I just want to say I'm really pleased to be showing in this gallery because Jill Newhouse specializes in works on paper by 19th century masters. You know, she did a beautiful show of Corot in September. Uh, she has some gorgeous VR. I just saw a show recently with a drawing by Delacroix, beautiful Signac watercolors. And I had this idea, you know, that these guys would have shown their smaller works in exactly this kind of space. So I, it gives me a special pleasure to be having the works here. I'm always working side by side, mm -hmm. canvas and paper. For instance, the, the show right now at uh, Jill Newhouse is all works on paper, but they're, but they're paintings. You know, sometimes you think of papers as pieces on paper as studies or line drawing, you know, drawings to the study form, or even if you use color, that there's a certain, they're a little bit quicker, less, uh, I don't know how to put it, less developed perhaps than the paintings, but they're not for me. In my case, they end up being smaller paintings. Yeah, but, right. but it's different. The, 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 first of all, I, mostly I work on them on a, on a drafting table at an angle, so I'm leaning over them. So mm -hmm. my body kind of envelops them, you know. Then they're not very large. So there's the intimate thing, you know, I'm, I'm painting like this instead of when I'm working on a large stamp, and, you know, making big, big moves. So, when I'm doing these compositions, first of all with the drawing, but then with the color, because you have line perspective, but you have color perspective, you know, cool, warm contrasts, uh, saturated, great contrast, dark against, there's a number of ways that you can, a number of tools at your disposal, almost like language, you know, for a writer, in order to create a rich experience, but, it still has to become something. So I have all the language, but now I've got to make something with it. And this is what takes so long to get to the point where I feel, oh, you know. Like one, one of my favorite writers is Flaubert. Mm -hmm. Flaubert could spend a week on a, on a paragraph. The crafting, you know, that, so that mm -hmm. now it's not just what the words stand for. It is their very, form, the their very form. Their form is gives you pleasure. You can read it over and over and over. You already know what the narrative is saying, but that's not why you keep reading it now. Now you're rereading it because of the way it's put together. It's just beautiful.